Moto G7 power battery replacement. All right. So on the flat, it's 0.36 inches, but the battery is swell. Let's find the center like there, maybe. That's about 0.52. All right, so first step. This one, like I said, is already starting to split. So we should be able to get it apart, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, this one's already kind of apart. So running a little triangular thing or a, a guitar pick in there will work. It's a little <sighs> difficult. Like this doesn't seem too difficult. Let's go in a little bit. far. All right. <laughs> it sticks back on itself, of course. All right. Okay. Yeah, so there's lots of adhesive to take off afterwards and that's the fingerprint sensor Let's see is this enough to get in there yeah any little piece of plastic will pry that off okay then gotta get at that huh that works too yeah so you don't need any real specialty tools if you have a any kind of very thin triangular piece of plastic or a guitar pick Okay, so that's off out of the way. I'll have to clean all of the all this adhesive off before I put it back together. All right. So yeah, you can see that's quite quite bulged. T5 Torx to take all of these off. I got so much more adhesive to take off here. Should be 10 screws. And 10. I think. Yeah, from the instructions, actually, like one of these was longer, like, but um, from what I can see, these are all the same size. I don't see any any difference between them. And am I going to be able to get this out of here? Probably not. Yeah, I'm going to have to peel all of this off. Getting up underneath here. There's actually a large... It's holding it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that popped off pretty easily. Okay. Next thing is disconnecting the battery, which is just that. Okay, so now the battery's disconnected. Now the more difficult part of getting underneath here to lift the battery off. Got it. Got an autom like these blue things are from an automotive kit, but we'll see what happens. Okay. 
That seems pretty good, actually. Just sticking it under, giving a little pressure. You can hear it coming off of the adhesive that's under it. Oof. So, if I can get in the bottom. It's kind of working. I just like to get under here if I could. Yeah, it seems to be working too. Okay, so I got it off one side and then when it attached itself to the other side. Now it is it is attached in the middle, okay. Okay. Yeah, there's three strips, okay, that makes sense. And there it is. Yeah, three strips of adhesive holding it down. So, ramming it down in the corner, prying up, getting underneath it, it'll naturally peel off of here. You do that from both sides, you may not have room. Then you can go from the middle. That was not terrible. Okay, so now I need to clean all the adhesive off. Uh, I'll probably, that's still very sticky, so I'm not going to replace that. I'll have to replace these strips on the outside. I'd gotten that from iFixit, along with the replacement battery. All the ones on Amazon look terrible. Uh, then I'll have to clean the cover off as well. Okay, so it took a little bit of time, but basically I had to rub my finger on here where my fingerprints off, getting the adhesive off on here and on here. On this one, uh, I tried it a little bit, could get it off on the bottom, as thicker here, but I actually ended up using a metal flat screwdriver in short bursts to get these off on these areas without slamming it into the circuit board. Uh, and I cleaned it all off with ISO. So I'm basically at the point of putting the battery in and turning it on to test it. And then uh, uh, using these strips to put the cover on. Okay. Let's see, so that should sit in there. Try to center it. Okay. Okay, that uh, just pushes in there fairly simply. Should be able to put this back on. Or maybe not, maybe it clips in. It does clip into the top and snap down. Okay, so. Like I said, the guide showed one of these was different lengths, but they are all the same. Did I miss something here? This area seems bulged up. Oh yeah. Okay, there's a little little clip there that I had to get past. Okay. And all these screws have a thread locker on them. You can see it in blue. You don't have to tighten it super tight at all. Okay. So then, put this 
that on. Get it right there. Yeah. Let's make sure that that plastic thing snaps over it. There we go. Okay, so it's at 25%. Okay, so let me let me go to shut it off. So that was a successful battery change. Now I need to adhere the back back on. All right, just grab it, peel the whole thing off. Just put it on there. Push it down into place, the peel that off after. Cut one and have to put up there, put a wider one across here and a wider one across there. This one I can put over the seam straight across all of that I should be able to take all of these off of here said it's not going to be waterproof. Okay, so then make sure then we just center it a little bit. It's going to sit there naturally. Okay. Just run around the edge. Okay, and that is on there very well at 23%. So I'm just going to let that go down to 10 and uh, charge it. That was probably altogether half an hour. All right, any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below.